to an update to a story we've been following. An Ozark family is grieving the loss of their 15-year-old son after he died in a car accident Friday night. In fact, Amanda WDHN's Allison Polk met with the boy's uncle and shares more on this tragic incident. It was on Dale County Road 61 where 15-year-old Stinson Enfinger was involved in a car crash that took his life. His family is still processing their grief. We need all that we could get. We need this right now more than ever. You know, my family's really distraught. The family of 15-year-old Stetson Enfinger has still not processed the death of their loved one after he died in a car crash Friday night. Enfinger was riding down Dale County Road 61 when the 19-year-old driving the car left the roadway, struck a ditch, a tree, and then overturned, taking the life of Stetson Enfinger. Being only a teenager, the family of the teen cannot believe they lost their loved one at such a young age. This is too soon. He's miss, He's going to miss out on a lot. And but at the same time, we got to trust and believe that the higher power knows more than what we do. Stetson Enfinger was like many teenage boys. He loved to fish, play his guitar, and hang out with his friends and family. But one thing Davidson wants people to remember about Stetson is how he loved everyone. He's always wanting to love on you, hug you, give you praise. He's just a wonderful kid, and he just had so much heart in him. And that's why it's so sad. It's just somebody with that much heart is gone. State troopers say Enfinger was not wearing a seatbelt at the time of the crash. This is one of the reasons why Davidson hopes people will take the proper precautions so a situation like this will never happen again. When we're out doing things, let's be more aware of what's going on and be more wise before the event, not after. Davidson says that the support from the community has meant so much to him and his family, and they are appreciative of everyone who's reached out. Reporting in Ozark, Allison Polk, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.